How's it going guys? Today I'm going to do a quick guide on how to probe down a wormhole for the core. So to start out we're going to launch our probe set as we cloak up and warp to a safe I had already probed down. So to start out we're going to go ahead and open up our probe scanner. After that we're going to go ahead and open up our system map so we can see where our probes are and we can position them in space. Those spheres are a representation of the scan range of your probes. What we have on the map right now is the default spread formation of your probes. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the scan button so that we can start to see where the anomalies are in space. After the scan is completed, you will notice that we've begun to isolate the signature. Now we're going to switch to the pinpoint formation for our probes. This will help us get a better lock on our signature. We're going to move our group of probes over the top of the signature, and then we're going to align the probes vertically with the signature. After that, we're going to go ahead and hit the scan button again to see if we can further isolate the signature. We're going to move our probe cluster over the signature sphere and scan one more time. We now have a precise location of where our wormhole is going to be for our probes, but we still don't have a 100% lock on the signature yet. What we're going to do is change the probe size down to a 1 AU radius, and then we're going to move the probes over the top of our wormhole. For easier positioning of your probes, you can double click on the wormhole signature in space and your camera will center on it. Now we're going to move our probes on top of the wormhole signature one last time, making sure it is centered both horizontally as well as vertically. And now we have 100% lock on our wormhole and we can now work to the signature. This has been a short guide on how to probe down a wormhole signature for the Dixon Cox Bee Preservation Society.